Can Apple Password Manager replace one password? In September 2024, Apple introduced Apple Password Manager, which comes at no additional charge. Until now, I have been paying more than $60 a year for a family subscription of one password. And the question is, should I renew this subscription in 2025? Before we answer this, let's take a step back. Are you using a password manager at all? If not, we need to have a word. What problem are we solving? Before I started using a password manager, I reused the same password everywhere. And that is not secure. If your password were to leak in a data breach, and you reuse the same password elsewhere, it is breached everywhere. Aren't websites supposed to store your password in a manner that it cannot be decoded back to the original password? Well, yeah, they are, but you'd be surprised to learn that quite a few websites do not follow the best practices. Not the website that I use, right? Well, Let's have a look at haveibeenpwned.com. Adobe, LinkedIn, Dropbox, Zomato, Tokopedia, Lazada. These are not small names and as recent as January 2024. So I need a different password for every website I use. And I don't know about you, but I cannot remember that many passwords. This is where a password manager comes in. You generate a long, unique password for each website and store the password in the password manager. Have a look at this screenshot from one password with the password, the passkey, and a one-time password, an OTP code. There is a clear trade-off here. Now your password manager becomes the single point of failure. So you need a secure one. Avoid password managers with a long documented history of security breaches. Both 1Password and Apple have a strong reputation for security. Back to the main question. Why pay $60 a year for 1Password if Apple comes at no additional charge? Let's have a look at password manager from Apple. Again, we see a login name, a password, a passkey, a one-time password. Well, actually we don't see the one-time password because the screen in the screenshot it got blocked out, but trust me, it's there. So what would I be missing? It depends on your situation. Apple works best with Apple. Question to you is, how many Android, Windows, or Linux devices do you own? I myself, I use a Mac, an iPhone, and an iPad almost exclusively. So Apple Password Manager seems to make a lot of sense and an easy way to save $60 a year. Again, am I missing anything? Apart from support for non-Apple, there are features in 1Password such as custom fields and the ability to store secrets other than passwords, even securely store files if you want to. A feature I've missed so far in Apple, pa Apple Password Manager is to keep a history of passwords, which, which sometimes comes in handy. And finally, there's this watchtower feature, which is a bit of a feel-good feature because I hardly ever look at it, but it's nice, it's good to see our state of security. The other way around. Does Apple Password Manager give, give me anything that 1Password does not? Yes, it does. It gives me the ability to hide my email address, which is especially useful if I need to register in a website that I do not fully trust. So, oh yeah, actually, Password Manager also has a tab with security hints, but currently it's a bit empty because I have not used this tool for that long. So in conclusion, which tool is better? For me, 
probably still one password because it's the most versatile and flexible. That said, does it justify the price difference? For me, being all in on Apple products, Apple Password Manager covers about 95% of my requirements. And what remains is mainly secrets and not passwords. And there are other tools for that. Remember, the main problem we are trying to solve is passwords. It's great if the tool can do more than that, but was that the reason why we started paying $60 a year? Your requirements may be different from mine, so my main conclusion today is use a password manager. If you're not already using a password manager, get one today and cost should no longer stop you from doing so. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do you manage your passwords with a different tool? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.